and we are back in Concord, North Carolina, and we are here at the depot at Gibson Mill, the antique place. And you saw, if you saw our video, we were hunting down some cool retro and vintage Christmas decorations. There's one booth in here I want to show you that is amazing, but you know, let's check it out and see what other stuff we can find. So let's go. It's not really Christmassy, but check out this Bigfoot bank. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Now here's a booth I was talking about. Yeah, this ain't nothing. Wait till around the corner here. And look at these bull molds. Look at that. That is amazing. And they're not cheap. Yeah, bull molds have just skyrocketed in price. And uh, I remember all these growing up. Go around here, look at all these. Wow. You got Scooby Doo right there too. He's 125. Man, get the Grinch over here for 95. They've also got Halloween ones. And Frankenstein for 325 right here. But look at all these wonderful bull molds. Just tons of them. And they got just a lot of cool little decorations to put in the house right there. But the choices you have here in this one little booth are amazing. <laughs> Got ceramics down there too. Santa Claus, little cups. Get them in. That's pretty cool. And it's, it's not. A, it's a small booth, but it's slam packed with bull molds. I'm not sure if the booth next to this here is a part of the bull molds, but look at all the vintage decorations here in this glass case. And over here, get the bull mold here with Santa in the sleigh all kinds of stuff and, and they just booth here and generally both of them actually the bull mold one and this one this is all year round so but i think it is the same booth because the handwriting looks the same on the uh price tags look at all that the old bunnies that old uh, miss claus right there old doll wow you get that classic right there santa tree it's uh it says fountain Never used. Still in the box. Twenty-four dollars. There's Mary. There's Joseph. So you do have the set here. That's good. More stuff for you, like the old Christmas Village. It's an old-style eggnog. I'm guessing that's an eggnog box. So you, you make your eggnog with some rum, right there, brandy or whatever you want, whiskey. All advertisement there. Old Scotty. It's that Walther's candy. But, um, yeah, this uh, pretty much is here all year. So, if you're a collector, it's a great little collector booth here as well. And they do have a deli here in uh, the depot. So, I've eaten here plenty of times, and their sandwiches are amazing. I think I'm going to get something. I didn't have breakfast, but you have all the seating area right here. You walk over here so you get a better shot, a better view of the uh, deli. There it is right here. But yeah, I think I'm going to get a sandwich. So I ordered a pastrami with cheese and uh, on a hoagie. So uh, it's gonna be good. And uh, the cool thing is I got a fountain drink with it, potato chips and the fountain drink you can refill while you're walking around here at uh, the depot because this antique mall is huge. So it is a uh, build it yourself sandwich that I did for $9.99. And I get the combo with the drink and the uh, Chips and everything for three fifty extra, so the total came to fourteen forty four. And check out this sandwich. Look how thick it is. Oh man! And they make great sandwiches here. And it comes with a pickle. And that was delicious. And there are just tons of aisles just like this. I found another Mary and uh, Joseph with Jesus right there. Another bull mold. So that's basically what I'm looking for. I'm looking for all kinds of cool uh, vintage stuff like that for Christmas time. <clears throat> but I'm still going to look and see what other fun stuff I can find in these booths. Sometimes I can find really nice, cool collectibles and things I just enjoy. That's pretty cool. This coach sign right here. And that is 1195 That's really neat. Now, I really like this Santa Claus. He's pretty cool. He's uh, $29.95. I love the detail. Look at that face. 
This is classic, this old uh, serving tray with Santa on it. Uh, very nice. What the heck? Yeah, you can also get this uh, Happy Hanukkah right here. Display for your home. It's pretty wild. That'd be kind of cool to own your own uh, antique store. Yeah, you can. Right here. Yeah, you own this elf right here. Yeah, he's sitting on some joy. He's 15 bucks. This Santa, yeah, he, he's had a pretty rough day, I think. And he's 28 bucks. So you got uh, baby Jesus along with uh, baby Mary and uh, baby Joseph and some of the farm animals. They're babies too. Now this vintage nativity scene is really nice. It's only $89. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Now I'm digging all these wreaths right here. These are really nice. Yeah, these are, they look kind of vintage. I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, they're really colorful and and just like have Christmas written all over them. Yeah, I love those. Now I really like this blow mold here with the Santa Claus and the reindeer. That's pretty cool. He's 175 check out this classic still in the box too the santa claus he's only 22 dollars and uh looks like it's from the early 80s when it's saying down there on the tag but it still comes with the box too he's in great shape get that old 1992 santa claus coca-cola advertisement and that's for 99 dollars that's pretty neat Found these angel bull molds right here. Don't have the lights and they're kind of faded out, but they're $32 for those guys. And right above it, look at, you, look at this right here. Wrist Radio, Dick Tracy. That's pretty cool. And if you're a comic book collector like I am, it'd be kind of cool to have a vintage comic book stand that you used to find like in the 7-Eleven or Eckerd's, you know, the old drugstores. That one's $300. And I found a uh, Santa suit, 38 bucks right there. If you want to be Santa on Christmas Day. I love these old Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey programs right here. And they also you have the you know, old ice capades. You used to go with that as a kid all the time. Check out that classic right there. Holiday refreshment starts here at Coca-Cola with Santa. And look at that old animatronic Santa Claus. He's 30 bucks. And there's one of the old uh, tinsel trees right there. The old aluminum tree. And he is on sale. He was 139. Can't make out what it is now. I think it's 99. Yeah, there he is. And you have this animatronic teddy bear right here. And he's 195. Here's another bull mold. He's a classic. He's kind of faded out. And he is only, believe it or not, he's only $99. Check out these classic Christmas costumes. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love these. Those are awesome. Very cool. And then over here. Get the classic white tree. Love this classic rocking horse right here. He's all decorated for Christmas. Now I love the detail on this elf right here. This uh, vintage jester here. He's 130. But look at the detail on him. Love this little bull mold right here of Santa. And he's been marked down to 60 bucks for him. Now I looked over here. Look at these yard lights. And those are definitely vintage with Santa Claus. Here's some yard art, and this is pretty cool here. The Three Wise Men, right here. They can go in the house, too, of course. And you know, look at the angel back there, too. That's pretty cool. Check out this bull mold. He's pretty cool right here. And uh, he's 69. And it says, firm. And I love these refurbished gasoline pumps. Those are nice. Now, that's awesome. That coyote there. It says, do not touch. He has full body coyote. You're just chilling out. Yeah, put him in front of the fireplace at your house and uh, freak people out. And uh, if somebody tries to break in, you're going to see that coyote sitting there waiting for him. I had to get a shot of these guys. Check that baboon out right there. He's scary. You get the boar right there. And look at this buffalo. Isn't that awesome? And he's 22.5. Believe it or not, I found one of these almost as twice as big. He was massive. This one sells for 22.50. Um, the one I saw was like close to six grand. I mean, he was huge. Then you got this uh, Cody peeking out of the woods right here. And look at this guy right here. Yeah, I can see him pulling a sleigh. But I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I have to look up a picture. I get them mixed up sometimes because they're both huge. Is that an elk? Or could it be a reindeer? And he is marked down from 1800 to 1295 but he is beautiful. And here's another vintage Santa Claus. 
And he's really nice carrying that tree. He's got the presents, he's got the drum there, and he is 3250. And there's just aisle after aisle, just like this, all through the depot. And I just showed you the other buffalo. This one, like I said, this one's massive. He's huge compared to the other one. And he's going, he's only going for $38.95, but he's beautiful. Now, here's a classic blow mold, the candle, the Noel candle. And it was marked down from $42 down to, it looks like $32. Yeah, so he's $32 bucks now, this blow mold candle. And this one's a classic too, a little bit different than some of the other ones with uh, Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus right there. That's a nice one. And this booth got all kinds of blow molds. I just showed you the Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, but he's also got the candy canes here. And then over here, you got more of the Noel candles again. For the sets, 130. And you got Snowman right here. I'm guessing that's Frosty because he's got the magic hat on. And in our last uh, retro hunt at the antique stores, Connie was showing you these uh, teacup Christmas uh, cups here, and her mom used to have these. She had a whole set. Check that old Buzz of the Clown right there from the 1930s. Very rare. He's $98, but yeah, he's got all kinds of cool uh, metal and tin toys right here, but that Bozo, that's pretty cool. I love these elf socks right here. He's pretty cool. I might have to get a pair of these uh, for one of my costumes. Here's another animatronic Santa Claus, and he's only $75. I don't think he works. Let me see if he does. I don't think he's even plugged in. He's not in too bad of shape. And I love this old punch bowl. These are great for Christmas parties right here. Yeah, that's a classic. That's only 50 bucks. And this is my friend's uh, booth right here, Beardy Weirdy. Chris, who did all my music for my videos. Yeah, here's his comic book booth. He's got toys here, too. But, yeah, it's mainly comic books, though. Yeah, he's got a nice little booth here at the uh, the depot. And I love these porcelain trees right here. Um, the 350, I'm not, they're probably 350 each. They're pretty big. These are big ones. Yeah, they're not small. That's a good size right there. And these are kind of cool right here for your Christmas village. Kind of like historic sites. But uh, they can be a part of your little Christmas village. Now this is definitely vintage. It's old plastic Santa Claus right here. Which you hang up and they do... He's got two of them. No, he's got one. And they light up. And in this glass case, you got some smaller blow molds right here. Check him out. 125 for the carolers. You got a little manger there, too, seen for 225 Then you got Santa right here. Or not Santa. <laughs> That's not Santa. You got a snowman here dressed up for the holidays. And he is 84. And I remember having one of these back in the 70s. That's pretty cool right there. The old radio. And one of the last tables I'm looking at. Look at these blow molds right here. Got a variety, and I'm not sure, is that supposed to be Pink Panther? Maybe it is, that's pretty cool though. But he's got some really cool vintage stuff just right here on this table. Got this vintage uh, animatronic Santa Claus. It looks a lot like the one I have. And it was a blast visiting the depot at Gibson Mill. Great antique mall, tons of stuff. And we found a lot of vintage Christmas decorations, bull molds, animatronics. And just cool stuff for your home for christmas yeah they had a bunch of stuff here and i picked up some cool little christmas pillows for the living room for our couch and uh, also i bought one thing that i had to go and get <laughs> i love pink panther and he works let me show you there you go yeah he still works so if you didn't understand what he said, he said, this tail is a drag. He also says, I'm the Pink Panther. I'm not sure if he says anything else. He might say a couple more things, but I was happy that he still worked. And it came from 1976. And I want to thank you guys for joining me here at the depot at Gibson Mills. A lot of fun. We'll be back really soon, but it's Christmas time. We've got more Christmas stuff. All right, guys, you take care. Bye-bye.